So one of my favorite parts about the living room is that I actually have a terrace. It's technically not a terrace, it's a fire escape, but in New York terms, it's a massive terrace. I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House NYC everyone. Memorable homes as always this week and we are getting started at this light filled modern duplex in ever chic Tribeca. Star stager Cheryl Eisen and her team have fashioned this indoor outdoor penthouse as an entertainer's dream palace, accentuating its staggering dimensions with inviting low profile furniture and stylish decor. So kick back, put your feet up and enjoy. Hi, it's Cheryl Eisen from Interior Marketing Group. Welcome to apartment 3210 at 101 Warren Street in the heart of Tribeca. Okay, so what do you get when you combine two penthouses, an AD100 designer, and my award-winning staging firm? You get a mega magnificent, beautifully blinged out trophy home that's about to blow your mind. With 50 feet of southern facing frontage, over 2,500 square feet of outdoor space, and over 6,300 square feet of indoor space, this is the largest single residence in the building. And every inch of this home was meticulously designed and no expense was spared. And you can feel that here in the living room. And to take advantage of these incredible views, we opted for light and airy low profile furnishings. It was important to anchor the space with a simple white textured area rug. Not only does this create clear delineation between rooms, it also creates an important moment of calm in contrast to the patterned floors and the vibrant city outside these floor to ceiling windows. Then we added sculptural chairs and a curved sofa to add movement and create a perfect space for conversation. And finally, we carefully curated these Basquiat-inspired paintings to keep the vibe cool and add a pop of color. Right off the living room is this cozy little home office slash library. Once again, the light furniture choices create contrast and soften the leather-bound built-ins. This room might be all about business, but it doesn't mean it shouldn't look good. And speaking of looking good, check out this dining room. This space is perfect for entertaining. This huge white glass dining table with a wrapped leather base is the perfect complement to this Artemide Skydra light fixture and looks like a piece of art. And the Macassar millwork with a built-in mirror perfectly creates space and doubles the beautiful views completing the scene. So this is where you dine but when it comes to breakfast or a more casual setting, the eating kitchen is right nearby. Like any luxury home, this kitchen is outfitted with top of the line appliances and tons of storage. And talk about a pop of color. This lime green cabinetry adds a little whimsy and a touch of fun. And this breakfast bar might just have the best view in town. Now come on, this corner primary suite is all about windows and breathtaking views. But to create an even comfier oasis, we fabricated this oversized headboard in a soft hue and a velvety fabric. Once again, we softened the ebony floors with a light silken area rug. Lastly, I always love to create a cozy corner for morning coffee and a good book. The apartment's crown jewel is this unparalleled 2,500 square feet of wrapped loggia terraces. And we've taken advantage of every space by creating several seating areas with different functions. There's dining al fresco, a comfy outdoor lounge to take in breathtaking panoramic views, and finally, a huge lounger to soak in the sun. So that's the tour. Just goes to show you that even a beautiful property can be elevated with the magic of staging. Mind blown. 
coming up next, this impressively designed Live Work Loved. Welcome back everyone. Now we're with lifestyle influencer, entrepreneur, and design enthusiast, Patrick Janelle. Patrick, who is the founder of the agency Untitled Secret, had always wanted to live in a New York loft, and he finally found it in the Flatiron District. Stylish and inviting, its design combines classic loft living with dashes of Parisian style, plus just the right amount of country charm. See for yourself. Good design is about making something look good and also about feeling great in the space that you're in. My name is Patrick. Most people know me because I have a large following on Instagram where I talk about fashion, design, travel. I also live in New York City and own a talent management agency and my team works out of this very apartment once a week. So I've designed a space that I feel good living in and is also great for my team to work out of. The dining room is a good example of what I've done throughout the apartment, and a really great mix of old and new. This mid-century design chair paired with an antique farmhouse table that I use both as a dining table and as a shared workspace for my team. The other thing you notice are the super high ceilings that are pressed in that creates the most beautiful charm to this space. And then on the walls, I have these brass candle sconces, so I can light real candles for like a perfect glow during dinner parties. So the space that I spend the most time in is the living room. The piece de resistance is this massive pier mirror. It is an architectural salvage piece, but it fits so perfectly here. So I wanted to contrast this like period detail with this more contemporary sofa. And this coffee table is perfect because it's low matching the sofa. It's really unusual and I think just looks so beautiful in the space. Probably the most original corner of the home is this exposed brick wall. With a working wood burning fireplace, I decided to hang this vintage bicycle. And it's both functional because I use this bicycle, but it also sort of looks like a piece of art. So one of my favorite parts about the living room is that I actually have a terrace. It's technically not a terrace, it's a fire escape, but in New York terms, it's a massive terrace. When I'm entertaining, this is probably where you'll find me. I installed shelving where I could house my massive liquor collection. I can literally make any cocktail when friends drop in. Manhattan, anyone? This kitchen may be small, but it's super functional. We installed a lot of cabinetry because storage in New York City is always the most important thing. On the other side, I installed this marble countertop. I love marble, I love the texture that it has. One thing you'll notice is that I don't have any overhead cabinets because I wanted to leave plenty of room for my artwork. This brass rail is both a beautiful design piece and it allows me to have everything I need right at my fingertips. The focal point of the office is this massive table. I love that it's two-toned. The top is both brass and marble. Pairs perfectly well with this lighting fixture from Apparatus. And the wall looks like it's painted ombre, but it's actually wallpaper. I love how this room came together, both as an office space and an intimate dining room. The bedroom is petite, it's tiny, it's cozy. The bed itself has storage underneath. Other than that, it was really about bringing in lots of textures to make it a really like cozy and comfortable space. I wanted to make the bathroom just as nice of a place to be as any other area in my apartment. On one wall, I have a collection of vintage mirrors. On another wall, I have a neon sign that I got for my 40th birthday. Looking down the hallway, you'll see at the end, I picked up this vintage cabinet. It has a glass front so you can see everything and it's also super shallow. So the fragrances are just displayed beautifully. I want people to use the fragrances and I'll know whether or not they admit it, I love the fact that they're using it. This is my New York City loft, my dream apartment. It's perfect for living, for working and entertaining. Thanks for taking a look. Coming up in just a few, opulent living in Los Angeles at this architectural estate you are definitely going to want to indulge in.
Welcome back everyone. Now let's visit this brand new estate in Bel Air. Impressive doesn't even begin to describe the architectural details in this opulent home. Take a look. Hi, I'm Rainy Williams of the Beverly Hills Estates. Welcome to 1055 Stradella Road. Come follow me and let's take a look. When you're standing here in this bar right in your entryway and you're looking at this sculptural staircase and this floating light fixture, everything feels so organic and natural yet elevated and very sophisticated. This is a very tactile home where you want to really feel the wood and it's one of these experiences where you almost want to kick off your shoes and just walk through this fabulous travertine throughout. It's an overload of the senses but in the most subliminal way. The idea of this main level space was to integrate the family and the entertainment. The first section of this open space is the formal living room. You have a solid stone mantelpiece with built-in bookshelves. It is so architectural and so stunning. The center stage in this room is really the bookshelves and the mantel. The kitchen is the main hub and focal point of the home. You have a bullnose center island. The round curvature of the island is super inviting. And then of course behind me is the formal dining area. You can have very large dinner parties here, all the while you're looking at the amazing view. This is dining al fresco on another level. This is one of the most elevated primary suites in all of Los Angeles. I am literally looking at the most incredible ocean view. You have these open windows. Your bed is just perfectly situated to look at the fireplace and this gorgeous walnut woodwork. With the luxury drapes and all the beautiful lines in this room, you are in a tranquil state in this primary suite. One of my favorite features is this 3,000 pound solid stone soaking tub. The only thing better than this massive soaking tub is the view that you are looking at. And this is the owner suite's very own private balcony and you have the most insane view in front of you. When you're standing up here on the rooftop, you feel like you are king of the hill. Here you have multiple living areas and you have a view that spans from downtown Los Angeles to the Pacific Ocean. And that wraps up the tour so you guys can enjoy the rest of the house and I'm gonna enjoy these California rays. When we come back, we're with this stylish lifestyle entrepreneur and podcast host. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back everyone. Now we join Danielle Carolyn, content creator and co-host of the top rated podcast, Gals on the Go at her very own apartment in Greenwich Village. Danielle developed a newfound love of interior design here by combining stylish yet comfortable furniture with small personal details that make each area unique. Take a look. Hey, I'm Danielle Carolyn. I'm a lifestyle content creator and podcast host. Welcome to my home in Greenwich Village. I am so proud of my apartment. It's my pride and joy. I love interior design and I'm so excited to show you guys around. Let's go. I think it's super important for an apartment to tell a story and I think these shelves, as soon as you walk in, really give you a background as to who I am and what I love to do. I didn't think I'd be able to decorate them all, however, I think we're doing okay. I have slowly collected matchboxes from restaurants, bars, places I've traveled, and I always collected them in a vase. So now I can see them all, I can come home after a night out with friends, put a new matchbox in and head on my way. And over there is our Gals on the Go poster that we just came out with that I absolutely love because it's matchboxes, but on the matchboxes are funny sayings and inside jokes that we have on the podcast. So it makes me smile every time I look at it. And over here is my license plate from my first car ever. We sold it, I was so sad, my dad felt terrible, so he went and got the license plate and he sent it up here for me to have on my shelf to remember forever. Right here is this little bench moment where you can take off your shoes and you can check yourself out in the mirror before you come hang out with me. My 
My goal here was for my apartment to exude luxury. I was very inspired by the one hotel. And you can see that aesthetic as soon as you walk into my living room, AKA my sanctuary. The key here was for it to be relaxing, but also a fun place for me to watch football with my friends. Like the one hotel when you first walk in the lobby, there are white couches everywhere, so I obviously had to replicate that. And I know it's a little scary to have a white couch. We've only had a few spills. I added a little pop of color with that Birds of Paradise plant. It's faux though, because I cannot take care of plants for the life of me. I wanted this apartment to have some oak accents, so that's what this coffee table here does. And on top, I added these moss balls to give some life, and they're so fun because they're textured, so they feel really good in your hands, and my friends love to play with them. And right over here is my infamous outfit of the day mirror. It's really important to me, and I know you guys have all seen it on my Instagram already. I love the ornate detailing, and it really opens up the space. In New York, everything in your apartment needs to be multi-purpose, so right over here is this beautiful round table that is my office, my dining table, my charcuterie board. It's very important. Even though none of the pieces are custom made, it's all about curation and how you put it all together. Welcome to my dream closet. I have always wanted a walk-in closet. I was very inspired by Hannah Montana, my favorite TV show growing up. Though mine doesn't revolve, it still gives me everything I wanted and more. The shelving was a continuation of the entry, which is awesome, so I put my bags and shoes on there. But over here, I added this vanity, which is perfect. I feel like I'm in a dressing room backstage. I get ready here every single morning before the day, and I also store all of my products right in this piece of furniture. And behind me, I put up these clothing racks and hung up my clothes in a color coordinated way, which really brings out the triple Virgo in me. So now that you've seen where I get ready, let me show you where I unwind. Here's my bedroom, and again with that hotel vibe, was very important to me, so I chose this simple, modern, low to the ground bed and added all of these plush pillows. I hung this above my bed to break up the white walls and also add some texture. I don't do sweaters in the oven like Carrie Bradshaw, but I do put my clothes in my nightstands because I'm always looking for extra storage. During the day, I love bringing out these sheer curtains because it gives this ethereal touch and lets just the right amount of natural light in. And right over here, finally, is my dresser where on top I keep all of my everyday jewelry so I add those final touches like my earrings, my rings, and head out the door. So that's all for now. Thanks for visiting Hotel Danielle. I love showing you how this gal on the go makes New York City feel like the most relaxing place on earth. Coming up, a toast to style in Nolita. See what I mean in just a few. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in New York's Nolita neighborhood with entrepreneur Brenna Gilbert. Brenna is the founder of Fest and the Champers Social Club, a one-stop shop for all things festive. Her own apartment is a reflection of her ethos that no moment is too small for a celebration. See why. I'm Brenna Gilbert. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm the founder and CEO of Fest and Champers Social Club. Welcome to my home. This is a one bedroom in the heart of Nolita, which is a notoriously busy area. So when people come in, I wanted them to be able to decompress right away. There's not much green outside my window, so we brought it in here. We also wanted to make sure the space was full of things we love, like this handmade bell by McQuan, which is a Brooklyn-based designer. The space is also very narrow, so we added the mirror to make sure that it felt bigger than it actually is. This is our main living area. We have a living room, we have a dining space, and we have the kitchen. I share this space with my husband, Andrew, and our bulldog, Puma. I find a lot of these new contemporary buildings to be a little cold. This one is very beautiful. It was built by Lenny Kravitz's design firm, but I wanted to contrast that with some found pieces, some things with more organic materials. As an example, this table is an old work table that we found in Pennsylvania. We thought the contrast between the worn, lived-in wood was really strong against the stone backsplash. Bringing all of these pieces together, hand-picked from all of the different places we've lived, is really synonymous with my style. 
The tulip table is a great example of my interest in contrast and design. We have a classic mid-century tulip table mixed with a French modern upholstered bench. What's easy about it is I can flip the bench around when I need it for extra seating in my living area. I've added additional Danish modern chairs. I love the caning detail and it's a motif that I've used again and again in the space. Another piece of my design aesthetic is how we incorporate art. They're really reflective of what it means to be in the restaurant industry. I love them. I designed this space for two purposes, to fit as many people as possible here and to relax and recover. So the first thing we started with was the couch. Clearly, we don't care about having a dog on our white sofa. I knew that in order to make this very small space feel bigger, we needed to have one large area rug to make the space feel cohesive. We wanted to make a slightly beachy retreat here in Nolita. So we added a pop of teal and then warmed it up with ochre tones, some of the tawny tones that we had in a lot of the rich woods. As much as the dog loves cuddling on the couch, he also loves cuddling in the bedroom. Come on. The bedroom is really our sanctuary. It's a very small space, so we try to keep it edited to the things that we truly love, including this guy. In keeping in continuity with the great room, we have kept the same color story, but in contrast, we've painted this space, this soft sand color, and it's really made it a much more cave-like space, perfect for retreating from the world. I'm really interested in layering in a bedroom. I really believe in this idea that a bed should be something that feels like you can sleep between any of the layers. So we have a duvet, we have a quilt, we have blankets, but I like to be able to pick my layer based on how I'm feeling on any given day. This bedroom is a perfect retreat for me, a perfect place to relax and unwind. Thank you for joining me in my home. We've designed this as a place to relax, and entertain. Thank you for coming. Cheers. Give this video a thumbs up and let us know which of these gorgeous homes featured in this episode was your favorite. So many to choose from. Which will you pick? <laughs>